welcome to another edition of AWE Friday Fury. We are just one week away from AWE season's beatings, but the wrestling world is still reeling from the events that took place at Darkest Hour. One match in particular that got wrestling fans talking was the no disqualification match for the number one contendership to the AWE world title. We will show that match in its entirety on this telecast as our main event. But first, let's take a look back to about a month ago and AWE Onslaught. Due to technical problems, this event never made it on the air. However, we're going to show two matches from that event on this week's broadcast, including an AWE world title defense. First, the submission wrestler Jay is in action. And as you can see, here is Jay making his way to the ring. Purple Knight number one looks on, ready for competition. Both these guys. Decorated competitors here in AWE. Both of them clearly know what alternative wrestling is all about. Both with a great deal of ring experience. Referee Ben Hendel starts this match. We are underway. Jay with an open-handed shot and another shot to the head. A purple line number one. Kick to the gut and a DDT. Takes down the RA. And now Jay immediately staying on the attack. Puts on a cross arm breaker. Other Forcefully applied to the shoulder of Purple Knight number one, who's trying to get out of this thing. He's finally able to break free, get the hands closed together, which takes the pressure off the shoulder and off of the rotator cuff, but he still has been unable to mount any offense. <laughs> Purple Knight number one, struggling to get up. Jay having his way with him here as another shot to the head. Purple Knight number one, still unable to get out of the blocks, and that clothesline is not going to help matters much. As down he goes yet again. And now Jay got the leg. Now he's got a modified ankle lock applied. You can see he's applying the pressure to the ankle and to the knee of Purple Knight number one. And this could do it right here. But no. Jay seems to be not getting paid by the hour. He drops that elbow right in the sternum. Knocking the wind out of Purple Knight number one. And this could do it as he's dragging him further away from the corner. Setting him up. Another elbow drop right to the midsection. And now Jay, taking his time, picking him apart piece by piece. Now he's got the arm, and now he's got that triangle choke applied. A triangle hold across the head and shoulder, and yes, Jay gets the win. Submission hold, and Jay picks up the victory. As you just saw, Jay picked up a win at Onslaught. Perhaps Jay will use his submission prowess to win a much more important match his title shot against Dr. Phil next week at Season's Beatings. On Friday, December 23rd, watch a special edition of Fury as AWE presents Season's Beatings, a holiday treat for our AWE fans. This show is going to be headlined with the main event for the AWE World Championship, a triple threat match. AWE champion Dr. Phil defends the belt against Jay and Sean the Hammer Striker. And as tough as that challenge is going to be for AWE World Champion Dr. Phil, Red Devil is going to have a heck of a challenge as he takes on the debuting Pontifex Maximus, the self-described heavyweight champion of the Roman Empire. Can the Hornell City champion pull out the win against this Roman behemoth? We'll find out in just a few short days, December 23rd at Season's Beatings. Also on the card, Tyrant makes his debut in AWE against Purple Knight number two. We'll see if the veteran Purple Knight number two can beat the rookie on December 23rd at Seasons Beatings. And also, the first ever mixed tag in AWE history, Azalin and Kitsune take on Nightmare and Minerva. Men and women, all four competitors in the same match. It's going to be out of control, and it's coming up on December 23rd at AWE Seasons Beatings. Now, as promised, here's AWE World Champion Dr. Phil taking on Purple Knight number one. And there you see the champion making his way to the ring, holding high the AWE World Title Belt that he has held since May of 2005. 
And Purple Knight number one, you saw him lose earlier in the show to Jay. This match is taped later in the week, and uh, just hoping to uh, see how well he does in this, uh, this contest. Right now, Dr. Phil looks like he's ready to go. Speeds right past, just ran circles around Purple Knight number one. And now going for those shots, clubbing blows to the back of the neck. Another open open strike to the top of the head and another slap to the top of the head of Purple Knight number one. Another stomp on him. Purple Knight number one's been focused more on being an orientation guide for incoming freshmen. Speaking of incoming, you want to talk about impact, that diving headbutt by Dr. Phil. Every match, Dr. Phil finds a way to impress us with his wrestling prowess. He's got that camel clutch applied and that's, oh that's it. The match is over. Just like that. Unbelievable! Dr. Phil able to pick up the win with that camel clutch. Devastating hold shades of the Iron Sheik. And Dr. Phil's got that title defense coming up at season's beating. So it'll be a tougher challenge than this was. And now it's time for the main event. A no disqualification match for the number one contendership for the AWE world title. Azalin, a lion of bone and ebony went into this match without knowing who his opponent would be. As soon as he came through the curtain, however, it became clear that AWE will never be the same. Who's the next and now it's time for the main event. Right now, there is Azalin, the lion of Bone and Ebony. This guy has blazed the trail all his own through AWE since his arrival just a few short months ago. But this could very well be his toughest challenge yet. The no disqualification match, and he has no idea who his opponent could be. Crowd here, at darkest hour, going nuts for the arrival of Azalea. Like I said, there's a no disqualification match. Only AWE management knows who Azalea's opponent will be. It's impossible for him to really have any sense of knowledge, any way to prepare for this match, because he has no idea who it could be. And right now we're waiting on the arrival of this mystery opponent. I mean, it could be, could be Purple Knight number one. It could be, could be Nightmare. It could be Red Devil. Oh my! Wait just a minute. It's the debut of Juggernaut. I didn't think he was coming in for another couple of months. This guy's got a lot of wrestling experience. He's a former STAB champion. And the name could be any indicator of the kind of wrestling of this guy's done, and these guys are not waiting. These guys are going right at it. Big DDT right on the ground. Frozen solid ground. And now another one. Juggernaut. They're really taking it to Azul in here in the early going of this contest. And everything is on the line. The winner gets a shot at the AWE World Title next month. January 21st, the guilty is charged in Alfred, New York. Got that camel clutch applied. Won it for Dr. Phil just earlier in the show, but now Juggernaut dropping the elbow. And down goes Azalin. These guys can do anything. No disqualification. And oh my god. Wow. Rolling suplex. And now he's got that chokehold, that, that sort of sleeper applied. Also rolling rock bottom. Knees to the kidney. And now he's got that cross arm breaker. Cross arm breaker applied. Aslan able to escape. I don't think he's been tested. I can say right now that he's never been tested so much in the early going for right now. Slow blow DDT. One, two. And that's not going to do it. Aslan barely able to cover. Barely able to drape a shoulder, an arm over the shoulder of Juggernaut, and now he's working that arm bar. Look at the way that arm is out of position, out of joint. Aslan is really taking it to Juggernaut here. But Juggernaut able to get a quick reversal and a leg lock. It's like a throw of an ankle lock applied, and now he's rolling over to a half box and crab. Referee Ben Mendel is right there to check on him. But now Aslan. Struggling to get to his feet, both these guys trying to break, trying to break free, trying to get a big advantage. Oh, nice side rush on Light Sweep there by Juggernaut. Executed to tactical perfection. And he needs to be perfect in this kind of an environment, in this big match environment. He's dropping the elbow. 
Azalin takes the armbar near the midsection. And then uh, it's Connor with the stroke. That front face buster shades of Jeff Jarrett. And a two count. Azalin will not go down this early in the fight. But now he's firing back on the offensive. Open handed shots. Short arm clothesline and down goes Juggernaut. And now he goes in for the cover. Oh no, he's going back to the arm. Isolating the elbow, dropping the knees right on the elbow joint, trying to pop it out of place. Trying to cause, well, he is causing excruciating pain for Juggernaut, and these guys can do anything. Because everything is on the line in this contest. No disqualifications. Winner gets an AWE world title shot next month. That guilty is charged, and now Juggernaut opening up with those shots in the midsection. Now he's throwing him into the. Going into our crowd here. And now, Juggernaut, does the midsection, face first onto that steel chair. You can see the impact around the bridge of the nose. And now, Azalin looks like he's setting him up for something. Going for it, and slams the face first right onto the seat of the chair. Both these guys taking to another level of brutality here. Juggernaut trying to impress, trying to shock the world by getting a world title shot in his first match. And Aslan, wait a minute, Aslan just punched out a fan, and now he's taking a chair. He's taking the fan's chair, because everything is on the line. Anything goes here. This is war. He just blocked that chair shot. And now, he just caught him right in the shoulder blade with that chair to Aslan. Juggernaut is down. Incredible. Juggernaut is down. Oh, that was a critical hit by Aslan. It gets a two count with that chair shot. And now Juggernaut's got that chair. He's got, oh, he's putting on his jaw. Jawbreaker. He just caught him with a jawbreaker with that chair. And Aslan, I don't know how he's still standing. Oh, he just took a roaring elbow right to the face. Unbelievable. Juggernaut is fired up. Juggernaut is making a huge impact. Easy match in AWE. Drops the elbow, and this could do it right here. No, nope, shoulders aren't down. Now they are. One, two. Aslan able to kick out before the count of three. And now Juggernaut. Trying to finish him off, but Aslan gets the low blow. And now he's hitting him in the back. Wearing down that shoulder that he jammed the chair into. And now he's just stepping on, look at that, he's just stepping on the elbow, popping it out the other way. He's trying to break his arm with that. And Juggernaut responds with another low blow. And now he's trying to pick him up. Maybe a DDT here. Oh, complete oh, shot. He caught him with that flatliner. But he's not done yet. He is picking him up. He's trying to hit him with something here. Aslan is on spaghetti legs. Now he's set up in the corner. Laying down. I don't know what Juggernaut's got here. He's setting up something. Aslan trying to recover. Take his... Oh! Take the chair. And now he's got a shovel. He just smashed the shovel. Right onto the chair, into the body of Azalea. And he's trying to cover him, but this match is not false to anywhere. It's a no disqualification match. And now, Juggernaut trying to pull Azalea in. Big shot to the midsection, a huge rising clothesline from the line of Bone and Ebony, Azalea, who has been a phenomenon unlike anything we've ever seen in AWE, but Juggernaut is matching him move for move here. Oh, he just caught him with that roll the dice into the arachnid choke. Got that signature move, the arachnid choke. And he may have put Aslan down for good here. And now he's picking him up. Trying to see what's going on here. He's going to position for the Judgment Day. He's got him up for the Judgment Day. This could be it. No. Wait a minute. Aslan got him up. And a choke slam. He just choke slammed him. Juggernaut was going for the Judgment Day. That rollout slam that he does. And now Aslan's got the claw on line. He's got the claw on him. This could do it right here. Juggernaut trying to break free, trying to recover here. They're dropping the arm, it's down once. If it goes down one more time, Aslan's got this thing won. And yes, he does. Aslan, Aslan is going to guilty as charged next month. Let's take a look at our replay. You can see him going for the Judgment Day. Aslan able to counter out, pick him up, and set him up for a choke slam with authority. Unbelievable, Aslan picks up a win. 
time victory here. It's the biggest win of his career here at Darkest Hour. Aslan going to guilty as charged. As you just witnessed, Azalin survived that match with Juggernaut and gets an AWE world title shot next month. However, we don't know who his opponent will be. Will it be Dr. Phil, Jay, or Sean the Hammer Striker? The only way to find out is to watch AWE Seasons Beatings next week. On December 23rd, 2005, AWE will give its fans a holiday present that you won't soon forget. I'll see you next week for AWE Seasons Beatings.